What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the next gear. I'm gonna show you guys how to afford a sports car if you're in age of like 18 through 21. I'm 20 years old, I've owned three Camaros, so I'm sure I'm pretty qualified to be able to let you guys know what I did. So that's basically what I'm gonna do is let you guys know how it all started, how I got my cars, and have my tips to help you so you don't mess up like I did. So it all started back when I was about 18 years old. I had just graduated high school, class of 2018. So whenever it turned into the new year, 2019, I had been looking for another job. I had started off, I had two jobs working at Walmart and a coffee shop. So what I did is I wanted to start making more money. So yes, I did not go to college. Uh, I went straight into the work field. And basically what I was doing is just getting my money up to where I can go ahead and buy my Twit card get everything set up. So if you're from the South, what I advise is to go ahead and go into the plants. It's an easy place to just make a lot of money. So what I did, uh, I worked my two jobs. I quit one of them and stayed with one job consistently and stayed over there till about February-ish. So in February of 2019, uh, my birthday is in February. So I had just got into the plants at 18 years old. And right there was my gateway to make money. So quit the coffee job and then I started working over there. Now, what you guys need to do and need to understand is you need to work for what you want. Uh, if you aren't gonna put in the effort and work for what you want, you're not gonna get it. It's not gonna you know, just be handed to you on a silver platter unless your parents are rich or something. So what you need to go do is go out there, figure out ways to make money, whether that's getting a really good paying job at a young age or doing a bunch of side hustles. Do what you gotta do to get your money. My way of getting money was working in the plants. So started off in February and I've been knowing I wanted a Camaro. So what I did is I worked, I saved up some money and I went ahead and went into a dealership about two months after I started that job. And this is where I messed up at. My feelings got to the best of me. So I fell in love with this car. Even though I wanted a V8, I ended up getting a V6 because it was just a, such a clean car. Like I just loved the look of it. And I, I really wanted a V8, but I was like, you know what? I really want a car today. And that's what screwed me over is I wanted that car right then, right now. You're feeling, my feelings got best to me and I just didn't get the car the way I should have. I should have waited, looked at different options, but of course I got sucked into my own trap of just falling in love with the car. So went on a test drive and what really made me fall in love with the car is whenever the dude just floored it and I felt it. I was like, wow, I've never felt this much power. And yes, it was a V6. Um, you know, it's nothing, it was nothing crazy. So what I did, went inside, signed paperwork. And before I even went inside, I really said, okay, well, you know, as a V6, I really don't want to get into this car. So I didn't, like I was sold on the vehicle, but I wasn't. And they had that car on their lot for so long that it, they kept on lowering the price on it on us. And we kept on trying to leave and they just kept on lowering the price and they made a really good deal out of it. So I just ended up taking it. And whenever I took it, I drove the car for a few days and I was like, man, I screwed up. <laughs> I really just bought a V6. There's no way I'm getting out of this. So here I am with a big loan on my name. And uh, also if you're young too, try to get somebody to co-sign for you. That's what I had to do uh, because I didn't have any credit. So that's the only help that I really needed was getting a co-signer. I could afford the notes, I could afford insurance, everything. So I worked at my plant job till about October with that car and I kept on paying on it. And I ended up leaving the plants because I found another opportunity, which was working at a dealership. So uh, that's what I ended up doing. And so my main plans for that car was I was just gonna uh, procharge it, basically. I was gonna procharge it and just kind of build it, kind of be different, I guess, with a V6 uh, since I had screwed up and got the car. <laughs> so here it is, October, I left the plants. I went to a dealership job and a little tip for you guys, whenever you go and try to get a new job, make sure you're making more than what you did before. And that's what I did. I was making more than I did at the plants with this job so I took it so I worked at the dealership till about around February again and then I left over there at that moment is whenever I realized okay I really need to get out of this car because throughout the whole period I've had that car the dealership had it in the service a lot more than I did and I'll throw a few clips here just showing you guys what it was doing so basically it was leaking oil from the uh, head cover gasket and 
uh, at one point the car was knocking. I think it knocked twice and I had to bring it back twice on the same cylinder. I think it was cylinder number five. Woo! No, don't do that. Do not do that. It was something like that, but it had the same issues over and over again. So the car was a lemon. So what I did is I filed a lawsuit, got some money for it. I ended up taking that money and going to go trade that car in. And with me talking to the dealership and them knowing me so much because I bought the car back so much, we all worked out a deal to where they gave me a little bit more money than what my trade was worth. So I held a little bit of negative equity, but with the money from the lemon law, I basically canceled that out and got me into my 2020 Camaro SS which I have like three four videos of it Basically, whenever I got this 2020 Camaro, I had switched jobs and I was actually working at the same plant I was at, but for a different company. So the reason why I had to work for a different company at that same plant is because whenever I went over there, coronavirus had just started. And with Corona just starting, they had stopped hiring the day I got hired to go work back with the original company I was with. And the original company, I was actually going to work for another crew. So I was getting paid more because of how good of a worker I was before whenever I left the first time. So basically here I am, I'm working for a different company and with this company, I was still getting paid more. Uh, and you guys can't be afraid to work overtime. That's what I'm gonna tell you guys right now. If you want to be able to afford the cars that you want, you have to work hard. You gotta go out there, put yourself out there. You could get anything if you work hard enough to get it. And that's kind of what I've been living by is if you work hard enough, you're gonna get what you want. So just like with YouTube and everything, I'm trying this out, trying to see what I can do with this. But basically whenever I had my car, I was working seven days a week, 12 hours a day. And I was working some stupid shifts like 4 a.m. to 4 p.m. Uh, some shifts I worked one in the morning to one in the afternoon. It was, it was all over the place. So I worked that for about three months and then finally the time came where I was able to get hired on back with the original crew so i went back to my other crew and they were still on seven days a week so i was working seven days a week but they were working 10 hours a day i've been working seven days a week from march all the way until december which just passed by and that's whenever they stopped making seven days a week a thing so they changed it back to the original schedule so you you guys can't be afraid to work you need to go, go, just go do your work. Um, whenever I was working there, I actually ended up breaking the 2020 and that's how I got into this car. Um, I had to do two separate loans. If you guys haven't seen that other video of what my monthly payment is on this car, go check it out. Uh, kind of explain why I had to take out two loans and everything. So here I am, uh, I got a, my third Camaro and I've been working this job seven days a week. So moral of the story, of how to afford a car at such a young age is go work um if you're going into college that's good for you i mean you could go ahead and do that go do your thing but after college get straight in the work field um but if you're out of if you just chose not to go to college go find you a trade go find you something to go get into that's gonna make you money don't go work at walmart don't go work at cc's i mean if you got to go work at Walmart, go ahead and work at Walmart for a while. But while you're working there, go ahead and try and find out different places you can work at. Um, you just gotta keep pushing yourself forward. Keep making more money. Every single job I've left, I've made more and more money. So never make yourself worse than what you were before in your life. Always build yourself up, get yourself more money. Uh, whatever it may be, your body, go to the gym more. Go do something that's gonna make your life excel. And that's what I did. So. Yep, here we are in my third Camaro. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like. I hope this guys this helped you out. Um, if you got any questions, leave it in the comments. Uh, I'll be sure that I'll answer them. Um, and yeah, don't forget to subscribe. I will catch you guys in the next video.